Cyberpunk 2077 has been out for two years now and nobody has ever noticed this tiny little red button hidden on the streets of Night City. I guess the reason is, is because it's so small and literally invisible at daytime. And the button's also hidden under waist level. I mean, who really runs around looking at the floor in Night City? It's also just kind of part of the street architecture, so it doesn't stand out in any way, especially during the daytime. But there's a message scrolling across it that reads, don't turn off at nighttime. So naturally, like any psychopath would, I immediately waited until nighttime. Well, okay, before that, I tried the button at daytime to see if anything would actually happen. But no missiles seemed to launch into the sky. Will Smith didn't come out of the back alley to slap me across the face. So obviously, I waited until nighttime. The red button had piqued my curiosity. I'd never seen anything like it before across the entirety of the game. So I had to find out what it did. By the way, did you notice that CDPR updated the UI for waiting in Cyberpunk? It's kind of more like The Witcher 3 now when you meditate, and it's so much more satisfying to watch. Drop a like if you appreciate these quality of life updates. Anyway, it's night time, the city looks beautiful, and I'm stalling the video out to 10 minutes, and BAM! I press the button, and all of the lights in Night City go out immediately. Kaput. Benito and we're thrown back into the Dark Ages. Well, okay, not quite. So with my newfound power of playing God, I can now turn the lights of Night City on and off repeatedly to my heart's content. Night time, daytime. Night time, daytime. Now, some of you may be wondering what the point of this whole thing is. And previously, I had posted a YouTube short about this and had also posted a video on my TikTok about this. Linked down below in the description. Please subscribe. No one follows me on there. You would have seen this content a month ago. Follow my TikTok. And someone actually spotted on there that when you press the button, it says fast cars shooting cars, which is actually a line from a Kanye West song where it actually says fast cars shooting stars. All of the lights, all of the lights. So yeah, you see, something good has come from TikTok. We've discovered this secret Easter egg, but it turns out TikTok was still wrong. This is actually the biggest Easter egg in Cyberpunk 2077 that you've most definitely missed. You see, if you're a psychopath like me, you would have repeatedly hit this button and realize that each time the lights get turned out, it will give you a new Easter egg reference to a different song each time. Let's go over them, shall we? Dark Entries, Dark Entries is a quote from the goth post-punk band Bauhaus and their song Dark Entries. Thirdly, turn out the lights, the party's over. This is a quote from Willie Nelson's song, The Party's Over. Fourthly, hello darkness, my old friend which is the opening lyrics to the song The Sound of Silence by the band Disturbed. Next at number five, we have I Woke Up With The Power Out. Any guesses? We could have made a pop quiz out of this. It's probably a bit before your time though, Zoomers. Well, it's a quote from the song Power Out by Arcade Fire. Then at number six, we have Baby When The Lights Go Out. Now there's a few songs where this exact lyric is said and I have no idea who the first person to say it was. I'm assuming well, I'm just going to say it's David Guetta's song, which is titled Baby When The Lights Go Out. And one of the singers says that in the song. But what do you think? That one's up for debate. Then at number seven, we have Under The Blue Moon I Saw You. And this is from the song The Killing Moon by Echoes and The Bunnymen. Then at number eight, we're still going Stars Shine Like Eyes, The Black Knight Sighs. That's from Black Sabbath and the song Planet Caravan. At number nine, Darkness On The Edge Of Town, which is a quote from Bruce Springsteen and his song, Darkness on the Edge of Town, getting a, a fam familiarity here. Then finally, I think at number 10, we have Remember How the Darkness Doubled. And these are lyrics from Television and their song, Marky Moon. So that is a total of 10 Easter eggs, all in one, which are really well hidden in Cyberpunk 2077, that you'd only found if you are a psychopath. So anybody who said that they already know this one down there in the comments section, you know who you are, well, there are psychopaths, and I count myself among them. Now, if you want to try this tomfoolery for yourself, you're going to want to come over here on the map, right in the center of Night City, between Haywood and Westbrook. There's kind of like a little river running in between these two locations where they all meet. 
And specifically, if I go ahead and zoom in here, you'll see this one bypass going across this road. If you come down from there and at the next T-junction, that's where you're going to want to put your marker. It's located on this left street corner just here. Another easy to miss reference to a work of literature that you've most definitely heard of is the achievement that you get for killing an enemy who's killed you within 5 seconds after receiving the second heart ability, which allows you to come back from the dead. The achievement is called V for Vendetta, which is a graphic novel by Alan Moore. It follows the story of a character named V, who is the protagonist, and he dresses in a Guy Fawkes mask and begins an elaborate theatrical revolutionist campaign to kill his former captors, bring down a fascist state and convince everyone to abandon fascism in favour of anarchy. This comic sold over half a million copies in the USA alone by 2006. But as for our next hidden secret, which hopefully we've all found at some point, but perhaps some of you missed the reference, this one's actually located within an alleyway in the centre of Night City but it's well worth picking up as one of the second best smart weapons in the game anyway. This next easter egg is located over here in Haywood. Go ahead and zoom into the east of the map just over here near the riverside. Where you can see this bridge passing over the river, you're going to want to take a right towards the weapon shop, but make sure you're on the other side of the block to it. I recommend zooming in and then put a marker just on the other side of the block to where the weapon shop actually is located. You can see currently I'm standing directly underneath where that marker is on the road above. So you're going to want to drop down onto the road below it and then if you go ahead and turn around and head this way, you'll find an alleyway just behind this blue building. And this alleyway, if you actually go ahead and jump over all these poster boxes, this man hidden here behind a dumpster has an iconic smart pistol named Skippy, which is actually also an easter egg reference a lot of players seem to have missed. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. The hell are you? Skippy is a bullet with large cartoony eyes and a cheeky attitude that also sings very badly. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum bum be dum bum bum. Be what, dum. what are you doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. This is pretty much a direct reference to the Skippy Super Intelligent AI from the novel series Expeditionary Force by Craig Allenson. I guess because it's a book, a lot of people haven't seen it or read it, but just a very important gameplay note on Skippy. It's now the second best smart weapon in Cyberpunk 2077 after the recent update. However, after the dialogue with the talking gun, you'll get an option on which firing mode to use. Either Stone Cold Killer, which makes all your shots headshots, or Puppy Loving Pacifist, which does considerably less damage in comparison. But the important part is, whichever option you pick, it will actually then break after 50 kills and revert back to the other option that you didn't pick in the first place. So what you need to do is make sure that you pick Puppy Loving Pacifist and then after getting 50 kills, it will break and swap back into the Stone Cold Killer version. And after that, it's permanently locked in that firing mode and can never be changed again. So make sure you remember to do that when you find it for yourself. And if you want, you can also check out my guide link below for some tips and tricks on a character that uses smart build weaponry. Next though we have another easy to miss reference mainly because it's in Russian and it's also ridiculously well hidden unless you're really looking for it considering Night City is covered in graffiti. To find this one you have to come here on the map. If you come all the way to the north badlands or the oil fields over here on the map right near this fast travel point over here and then you're going to want to head over to this massive petrol container. From the fast travel point here you're going to want to take the next left turning into the oil field scrapyard. We're heading towards the large oil vat in the center of the scrapyard. Hop out the car here and head over to the ladder in order to climb up the oil vat. We're going to be heading right to the top. But another cool detail here is the fact that the graffiti has specifically been placed only as high as a person can reach, which kind of adds to the realism of where you might find graffiti in the real world. 
and some games you see it halfway up a skyscraper but that doesn't really make a lot of sense because no one can reach that high. So the special bit of graffiti that you can find at the very top is actually in Russian which is why it's easily missed by most players and it translates to Tsoi lives which is referencing the famous Russian rocker Viktor Tsoi but I'm pretty sure I've butchered his surname despite putting it through Google Translator. Sadly he ended up dying in a car crash which is why it says that he still lives here in the dystopian future of Cyberpunk 2077. Many still consider him to be a beloved hero of rock and right here at the top obviously we can see a mattress and a guitar suggesting that he's still about playing his tunes in the world of Cyberpunk here in Night City. But we've only just tickled the top of the iceberg here when it comes to tiny hero hidden easter eggs in cyberpunk. So why not check out my other video where we discover how some dank memes managed to make it into the game which is kind of amazing considering that would mean that the meme survived 50 years from today. You can check out that video just here. I'll see you then.